Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their true intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and not every reading will resonate for you. So let's get started for Virgo spirit. Messages for Virgo regarding who or what is coming towards them. In love. For Virgo. Who or what is coming towards Virgo. Ooh, we got reach out. Take the initiative to reach out. Contact. Exchange. Touch. We have second chances. What else? What else for Virgo? This is pretty clear here. Nope. Have unhealthy attachment moving forward at the bottom of the deck. This kind of wanted to come out as well. So it looks like your person or you are desiring a second chance. But there's an unhealthy attachment here. And this has been kind of a common theme for, you know, in my Virgo readings. I have stuff in my card. Um... So check out, you know, the playlist if you want to see other readings there, because there's always like some sort of barrier for Virgos. Not sure what's on my cards, but I'm not happy. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the tarot and see what this is all about. I feel like someone's moving forward out of an unhealthy attachment or an unhealthy environment, an unhealthy situation. So we'll see Virgo. Tell me more for Virgo. Who or what is coming towards Virgo in love? Let's see what we get for you, Virgo. Okay. We have the High Priestess and the Four of Swords. So right away I'm thinking no communication, no contact, which is probably why someone needs to reach out. Also no action that I can see, just a lot of thinking. With the Four of Swords, who or what is coming towards Virgo when it comes to love? Yeah, there's like someone's holding back here or holding on to something. Um, maybe guarding themselves, we'll see. <clears throat> so I feel like already right away, this is a connection where you're not in contact with the other person or um, there's not a lot going on. Tell me about the High Priestess. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the High Priestess, please, Spirit. For Virgo. The Moon, yeah. There's something here. I feel like someone could be admiring you in secret or um, has some sort of secret feelings towards you. <clears throat> Pisces energy with the Moon there. Um, this could be somebody that desires to be free, independent, but there's something here that I feel is not communicated or is kept like from you. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Can I get one more? King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there's an attraction here from this other person. It's like um, either they desire you specifically or they desire to be free, successful, secure. But with the moon here, um, if this is a desire for, your, for you, they're not communicating it. Or perhaps this is their intuition nudging at them and they're kind of going through this on their own internally, right? This could also be you, but I really am picking up that regardless of who it is, the outcome is still the same, if that makes sense. So, like, if this is your person, Virgo, or you, the outcome is the same. I hope that makes sense, but that's what I'm feeling strongly here. It could even be a mutual attraction, a mutual desire. Because you did have a reading recently where it was like you both feel the same about each other or you both mirror each other. So, um, again, check out the playlist if you want to check that out. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Someone's being like quiet. 
Yeah, they're thinking about what they want to do, what they want to make happen here with the Magician. Can I get one more for the Four of Swords? Ten of Swords. So maybe this requires some sort of ending, some sort of chapter closing here. And then the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, I have the Fool. So yes, I feel like this is someone that needs to, again, be free of something. And I feel it's this attachment. There could be a third party situation going on here, or this person is just focused on building something new. Maybe this will require a risk. Oh, and there's like the Knight of Cups right after that. So it could be someone risking um, communication here. Uh, like um, maybe they need to tell you something about how they feel or apologize for something. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Virgo? Wow, Six of Cups. This is such a clear reading. <laughs> Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Five of Cups, yep. So this is about the past, right away. Two cards here about the past. The Five of Cups and the Six of Cups. Something happened here in the past. And it's, it, I almost feel like someone's holding on to this. Like they're not able to let go of the past. This could be a very strong connection with the Six of Cups, even a past life connection for some of you. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Wow, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. I, again, I just get this, this energy of someone that wants to go, wants to leave, wants to move forward. They could even be wanting to, to return to the past here with the, the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups. This could be somebody that's missing you really badly and all they think about is the past with you. Because the Six of Cups really, it's a card about coming home. It's a card about good memories. It's a card about innocence, sincerity. So it's almost like with the Five of Cups here and the Six of Cups, there's regret over maybe losing something that was really special or maybe regret over, you know, their current situation because they are thinking of better times. Bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor, Aries energy. This is a doer. This is somebody that wants to take charge of the situation, regain control. The, the emperor and the chariot again I'm, I'm picturing someone that wants to do something about a situation and i don't think it's a coincidence that i have moving forward at the bottom of the deck here so let's find out a little bit more about this person spirit spirit tell me more about this person that virgo is or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know about this other person We need to know about this other person that Virgo is or will be dealing with. Bad health? Yeah, I feel like this is someone that um, is not taking a situation well. Bad health reminds me of the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I have false person. So maybe they're dealing, again, with an unhealthy person, unhealthy situation. Maybe it's affecting them emotionally, affecting their... Um, their health. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person that Virgo is dealing with or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is dealing with? Virgo, you showed up in your own reading. So this could be... um. My zodiac cards in this deck could be the actual zodiac sign, so you could be dealing with another Virgo or someone that has Virgo in their chart, or this is the energy of the Hermit, the major arcana for Virgo, which kind of goes with this whole reading. Um, we have transformation. Yeah, I feel like this is with, the, you know, especially if I look at this as the Hermit card, which I'm starting to think about it because it kind of fits. Um, it could be that someone's intuition, inner voice, is guiding them to make a change in their life. 
to have a transformation here. Maybe they want to change their situation. Let me move these over so that I can. Let's look more at this person. Spirit, tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know at this time about this person that Virgo is dealing with or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this person could be uh, already in a long-term commitment. They could be a provider for a family. Or this is someone that's very successful, um, very secure, financially secure, stable. This could be somebody like with a good job. I feel like money is important here or finances are um, relevant. Can I get one more? Tell me more about this person. I do feel like some of you are dealing with a person who's already married or in a long-term commitment or some sort of family situation that's not very healthy. Knight of Cups came out again. This person has feelings here. Um, feelings for you or, yeah, Page of Cups <laughs> flew out. Okay, yeah, this is someone that has um, feelings for you. They have something to tell you. Uh, an emotional message for, uh, toward, you know, that they have to get off their chest or maybe they have to apologize. Let's, let me get one more for this Knight of Cups. Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups? Page of Cups, please. Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups? Page of Cups. Five of Swords. This is an apology. Bottom of the deck, the Sun and the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Yeah. This is an apology. I feel like someone wants to clear the air. And, and again, it's like they're focused on, um, on like making something happen with the Knight of Pentacles there. And we can see the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of uh, Wands. And behind that, I have the Eight of Pentacles. So yes, that's the energy I'm picking up here. Someone that is willing to put in the work um, or needs to work on something. And it has to do with you here. I feel like something must have happened between you in the past um, because this person is still thinking about it. And I have the second chance card here. So let's see, where is all of this headed? Spirit, tell me more. Where is all of this headed between Virgo and this other person? What is going to happen in the near future here? For Virgo. Where is all of this headed in the near future? What's next for this connection? The magician. Yep. What's next for this connection? Have the Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles. What's at the bottom? Empress. Wow. And the Eight of Cups. Yep. So. Uh, you know, to me, it feels like someone's going after something better here. Moving on towards something that has the potential for growth. Um, moving on to obtain their empress, which to me is someone with a lot of value. The empress also to me is like the ultimate partner. So this person is going to be um, making something happen here. So let's see, what's this magician about? Let me see if we can get some insight. Where's the magician here? Okay, the high priestess again. What's this magician about? The lovers, Gemini energy. Hmm. Whoever this is, they feel like you are their divine counterpart, like their soulmate. And it's, I feel it's something they've ignored. Tell me about the magician. It's like they've tried to ignore this. 
Why am I getting this message? Yeah, okay, so this is a, um, this person's choosing a path here. Bottom of the deck, judgment. This is a judgment, yeah, and then the six of swords after that, yep. So this is someone who's literally leaving a situation, and I keep getting this message for Virgos. This is someone who's leaving a situation, um, they've realized something about the past. They are not sure how it's going to end up with the Seven of Pentacles. They just know they need to try. It's like they're listening to their inner voice for the first time. Why is the Queen of Cups here? And that was like another message that, another like video that, I, uh, reading that I did for you guys. I think it was something like they're listening to their heart. So I feel like this is just a uh, continuation of those past readings. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This is someone that wants to come in and make you some sort of an offer here. This person could be reaching out to talk about, like, it's almost like, let's meet up. Let me share how I feel. Let me open up. Oh, wow, there's fear. Yeah, there's fear. It's strength at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like this person, Leo energy. Um, it's like they're they're scared of, of your reaction, perhaps, or how you feel. Um, maybe whatever happened in the past was their fault <laughs> and so it's not so easy to approach you now they're still going to do it though because i have the emperor the, the chariot i mean the magician these are doers these are not just thinkers tell me about the three of pentacles why is the three of pentacles here wow the wheel of fortune why is the three of pentacles here yeah, there's a big change happening here. And your person's making it happen. The star, Aquarius energy. Yeah, your person's making this change happen. I feel like they want to heal to, re you know, to renew something. Um, they could be having hope or faith in a positive outcome in something working out in their favor. I have the Ten of Cups at the bottom here. Can I get one more for this Three of Pentacles? Of course, Virgo, feel free to flip this reading, but I feel like this is your person's energy here. Um, whatever's happening in the near future, it's like they will be initiating it. Can I get one more for the Three of Pentacles? Wow, Six of Cups. Like, I cannot, I cannot, <laughs> like, it cannot be any clearer, okay? This is, I feel... A soulmate situation uh, a situation with your other half um, this is the person you're meant to be with and it's all happening in divine timing or at the right time but someone's actually putting in effort here this isn't you know and this is something that I say a lot about the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is an opportunity that presents itself and Things seem to happen as if by magic or, or luck is on your side, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to do anything, right? It, it's almost like you make the effort and you just so happen to be luckier than others, if that makes sense. Um, spirit shows you the door, but you have to be the one that walks through it. So with the Three of Pentacles here, it's, it's almost like in the Page of Pentacles, it's like despite the fear and the anxiety this is somebody that cannot ignore their feelings any any longer or what their intuition is telling them any longer and so this is kind of like a divine union coming together and i really do feel that it's a past person for for a lot of you but for others i don't know it's almost like this could be someone that was like a past life connection Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, letting me know that you enjoyed the reading or that it resonated for you in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. It helps me feel like I'm not just talking to myself in this room. <laughs> so I appreciate everyone who takes, that takes the time to do that. Um, it's a free way of supporting the channel, the likes and the subscribes. So thank you so much. 
and um, hopefully I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.